Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question smallest number in infinite set. You have a set which contains all positive integers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and implement the smallest infinite set class. Smallest infinite set in initialize the smallest infinite set object to contain all positive integers. Um, pop uh, smallest function uh, remove and removes and returns the smallest integer contained in the infinite set. Add back function as a positive integer num back into the infinite set if it is not already in the infinite set. Before I start my explanation, so let me introduce my channel. So I create a, a lot of videos to prepare for technical interviews. I explain all the details of all questions in the video and you can get a code from GitHub for free. So please subscribe my channel, hit the like button or leave a comment. Thank you for your support. Okay, so let's write the code. Um, first of all, uh, initialize um, heap. So to solve this question, I use heap. And uh, in Python, uh, usually a uh, heap is a new heap. So if we pick the uh, root of heap, so that should be um, a minimum number um, in the heap. And I also initialize, um, okay, uh, min num equal one. So I'll explain how to use uh, min num uh, later. And uh, let's implement add back because uh, it's uh, very simple. So if self dot min num greater than um, input number and uh, input number not in heap in the case um, heap q dot heap push and uh, set heap and uh, input number so yeah uh, that's it and then uh, let's implement uh, heap uh, pop smallest so this is uh, actually tricky function so first of all if uh, heap has number in that case just return self uh, not self uh, heap heap q dot heap pop and the self dot heap and uh, if um, heap doesn't have any numbers in that case um, self dot min number plus equal one and then uh, return self dot min num minus one so the tricky point of this question is that so if we have uh, numbers in heap in that case we uh, pop the smallest number from heap and uh, return but uh, um, even if uh, heap doesn't have any number, we have to return the um, minimum positive integer. So that's why uh, we need a min num, current min num. So this number is a uh, um, like a smallest number we should return if uh, heap doesn't have any numbers. So then uh, before we return the minimum number, uh, we should update the minimum number with uh, like a plus one uh, because uh, that is the next minimum number. And then when we return the minimum number, so we up already update the minimum number with plus one. So current minimum number should be minimum number minus one, right? So that's why we need a minus one here. Yeah, so that's it. So let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be, uh, um, so for pop smallest function order of log n because uh, if we have uh, numbers in heap so we should return the uh, smallest number from heap so we execute heap pop here so that is a uh, log n and uh, if we don't have uh, any numbers in heap so this operation should be order of one constant time so that's why overall com time complexity should be uh, order of log n and uh, for add back function, also log, uh, order of log n. So if input number is smaller than uh, current min number, and the uh, input number is not in heap, in that case, we should um, push t 
to the heap. So that is uh, like an order of log n operation. So that's why um, an order of log n. And the space complexity should be order of n. So where n is a number of elements in the heap. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.